Hi folks, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Beth's Budget Method where I talk about all things budget and cash stuffing related. I'm a 34 year old, soon to be mama, living in Hawaii, working my way towards becoming debt free and more financially secure. I hope everyone's having a wonderful January. Today we're gonna to be going over my binder setup for 2024. I do have my frequent spending binder here, which is my black one, as well as my sinking funds and savings challenges binder, which is the pink one. I'm going to be adding some new envelopes as well as putting in some trackers and then we're going to just kind of go over what I kind of spend in each category as well. So let's get into it. This is my frequent spending binder. So this is the one I put all the cash for my daily spending and it was getting stuffed once a month in December as my first paycheck for the bi-weekly pay that I get uh, ex covers all frequent spending expenses and the second paycheck goes towards all of the big bills. However, I am going to start cash stuffing my second paycheck of the month in here as well as I do have some extra money that can go towards some of the new envelopes so let's just look into it now this is the budget um, tracker that I've been using I am adding some new categories so I have run out of space so I'm probably gonna have to think of something else to use so this is my debit card envelope I put all of the cash that needs to go back in the bank in here. So if I use my credit card and I need to pay myself back, I just pull out of the envelopes here and I put it in this envelope. And at the end of the week or the following week, uh, whenever I have time, I just go ahead and put that back in the bank. Okay, so these are the categories that I have. Uh, groceries, which of course is so self-explanatory um, all of the groceries that uh, I pick up to cook at home which I have been a little bit better about doing um, as the goal for this year is to try to eat out less and then in the back uh, we have the um, budget sheets then we have dining out um, this is a category that is just unavoidable uh, because sometimes I'm just too lazy to cook or on the weekends after church we like to go out to eat so that's what dining out is for any restaurants any takeout um, we're really good about not doing too much DoorDash or you know delivery meals so usually just restaurants and takeout gas which is of course gas for the car um, I also might pull out of here if I have to pay for meter parking or paid parking uh, for any events that we might go to. Household is for pretty much all of the household goods such as cleaning supplies, um, things that need to be replenished in the house such as paper goods, napkins, paper towels, etc. So that's what household is. Toiletries are our everyday toiletries. <laughs> um, so like of course, you know, the bathroom toiletries, uh, skin care, things like that. Pets care is for our dog, and we use this for her dog food, for any treats, um, any toys. It was just Christmas, so she has lots and lots of toys, so I don't anticipate needing to buy her too many toys this month, but we'll probably buy her some treats as she does go through those pretty quickly. Then personal, which doesn't have any money in it because I spent it all already for the month, which is not really good because it's just the beginning of the month. But I am gonna consider increasing this budget since I did blow through it pretty quickly. I got a haircut and I bought some things that I needed for my upcoming baby shower. So personal is kind of my whatever I need, whether it be clothes, um, self-care, waxes, haircuts, etc kind of a range of things entertainment also known as fun uh, is anything that my boyfriend and I might do on the weekends or after work for fun I did end up pulling from here to cover some of the overspending that I did in personal so I do kind of need to be better about that and then gifts are for when I need to bless others for people's birthdays or any thank you gifts that might be coming up. And I, I did pull from here to do some thank you gifts for um, the baby showers that I do have coming up. I do like to make sure that I'm thanking the hosts for, you know, throwing a baby shower for me. Now we're gonna add in our new envelopes. First one is shopping. 
and in December I used this for Christmas but we're gonna use this for more just like miscellaneous things that I may not be anticipating to buy for the month also kind of like a buffer too I guess if I go over in another category so shopping is gonna be a category that I'll stuff for my second paycheck of January and I'm not really sure how much is going to go in here yet. I think what is going to happen is whatever is left after putting into my other envelopes, that'll just kind of like go into here. Another new envelope is nails. I do do press-ons just for the sake of having nice nails for the video. So um, I think I'm going to start putting $20 into nails every month. Then car wash fees, as I get my car washed at least once a month, and I was kind of just pulling this money from whatever was left um, in my second paycheck. It didn't really have a category, so I'm gonna do 35, as that's kind of the average cost with tip um, that I pay to get my car washed and vacuumed. So this is an envelope that um, is getting added for the second paycheck. So that's it for the Frequent Spending Binder. We'll see how those categories go. Again, I'm a beginner and I just started cash stuffing in December. So just kind of learning uh, every month what's been working and what's not. And so I think adding these new envelopes are really gonna help with sticking to the budget. Now we go into our Sinking Funds and Savings Challenges Binder. And so this one is an empty envelope because we're gonna actually be adding these trackers. And so the first tracker is the bank buffer fund. I got this from Aya Plans. Um, I'm just gonna start with putting $20 in it whenever I can, um, and then hopefully save up a $360 bank buffer so I don't have to worry about you know, accidentally um, overspending in my checking account, and then I can just have that peace of mind. So that's gonna go in here. Car maintenance, I just took my car to get serviced, and per usual, there's always something that they'll find that needs to get fixed that I didn't anticipate needing to save for. So I did actually have to spend a little bit more than I had originally um, saved for in this category. So I just wanna make sure that I can have it um, ready so that I'm not having to pull for my emergency fund. So I just created this generic like scrap paper tracker or savings challenge um, where I wanna save at least $600 for the year and each little heart is $40. So hopefully I can start contributing to that with the extra money that I have in paycheck number two after all of the bills are paid and after I stuff those new envelopes that we went over for the frequent spending binder. Parties are for family parties as I have a big family. There's always birthdays coming up and so I always have to spend money on you know food that I'm either bringing to the party or um, whatever I'm contributing. So for parties, I'm just gonna stick in this mini savings challenge. Um, that I also got from Aya Plans, and uh, it's, it's for a total of $140, and I think that's a good enough amount to have in here, just to kind of make sure that I'm not pulling from groceries or pulling from gifts when it comes to needing to uh, provide for these parties, family parties. Emergencies is the emergency fund. I do have a small emergency fund from doing Dave Ramsey's baby step number one. So that's a little over a thousand dollars. And I am hoping to eventually work my way towards a three to six month um, emergency fund once I have all of my debt paid. And so I got this savings challenge with the black binder that I ordered on Amazon. And so I'm just gonna stick that in there because it's for a thousand dollars. And I think that's a good start um, once I have my debt paid off. Travel is because my boyfriend is from the Big Island, so we do tend to go to the Big Island two or three times a year to visit family or attend parties. And so I made this scrap paper <laughs> savings challenge, um, and I am hoping to contribute enough to have $500 as this fully funded um, sinking fund to just pull from for our inner island tickets or uh, car rentals. Then I have my student loans and student loans, I have about 
$4,500, dollars $4,500 left. And I do make automatic payments every month, um, which are based on my income. But I would like to pay them off sooner, so I do want to contribute more. So I did create this little savings tracker to the total that I owe left. And so if I put in an extra $100 here and there, hopefully I can get it down to zero. That is the goal uh, before the end of the year. It was before spring, but realistically, I'm gonna have a baby. I don't know if I'm gonna have extra funds to put in here before spring uh, to pay all of this off. Then dental is Invisalign. I've got another scrap paper savings challenge here. I've got about $3,000 left. I do make $200 payments every month. So, I mean, I don't need to fill out all of these hearts because I'm still making the automatic monthly payments, but I just figured that's how much I have left. So I'll just do this and hopefully contribute enough to pay it off sooner. Investments, this is gonna be something I'll contribute to after all of uh, the debt is paid off and I have um, a fully funded emergency fund. I believe this investments is baby step number three or four for the Dave Ramsey method. So I just have one of these for when I'm ready to go. Um, I do contribute to my 401k, but I would like to start contributing to a Roth IRA. And I think for starters, I could just kind of work towards a thousand dollars and then eventually increase that so that I can try to max it out. Then we have all the holidays. Um, and I do have an extra mini savings challenge here. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet, but I just have this that I can insert somewhere. Um, so for the holidays, I actually have a new binder. So I got this from Amazon. It's the same uh, type of binder that um, I have here, this pink one. It's just in a different color. So if you are interested, it is linked below in my description box. I thought yellow was a little bit more festive. So we're gonna actually take out all of these holidays from New Year's to Christmas. And we're gonna go ahead and put them in our new binder. So now I have three binders and this yellow one will be strictly for our holiday savings challenges. So it's just the typical um, traditional American holidays. So Christmas fun is the only one I have like a savings challenge. I have this let it snow savings challenge which I haven't filled out yet but I think the goal for Christmas this year is to save up $1,000. And then I have this other Christmas savings uh, challenge, which I received in um, my Amazon order when I ordered the black binder. So I'm just gonna stick those in there and eventually I'll fill them out. But this will be the new, I guess it's kind of a lower priority um, sinking funds binder. Um, I would say these are more high priority because it's important for me to make sure I get my car maintenance done and. Um, you know, my emergency fund and, you know, pay off my debt sooner. And then this is just, you know, if I can contribute to these holiday funds, then great. I won't have to, you know, worry about it once, you know, those days come around. So that's the new binder set up for 2024. I now have three binders. And so hopefully this will help me stay a little more organized. I'm hoping and praying I'll be able to contribute cash into these two binders, the sinking funds binders, because of course that's just gonna be money that's left over after I pay all my bills and fill the frequent spending binder with my budget for the month. So wish me luck. I hope you folks enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. I post every Monday and Thursday. So have a blessed rest of the month and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.